Hi Pisces, and this is a general reading that could benefit any sun, moon, or rising Pisces sign. And so hopefully something will resonate here with you, but we can look to the cards to get a sense of the energies and insights and messages from divine source or the universe for Pisces. Okay, first two cards we have for the awareness for the week. Your awareness for the week is this very dedicated focus to either your projects or your profession or your career. You're working hard, you're not distracted, you are proud of your abilities, proud of what you're doing, and you're getting the job done. And so, uh, this is really simply, with pentacles, this is a focus on resources, on career, and of building expertise. You may, this week, you may be studying something new, you may be getting training, you may be attending a workshop, um, working on additional certifications, but there's certainly a focus on using your hands, using your skills, and using your smarts to develop whatever it is that you're working on. You know, for some of you, maybe you're building something in the backyard, and this is the physical representation of that. For others, this could be related to relationships. You're putting the time and the energy and working on a relationship. And for some, this is about work and about really doing a fantastic job, uh, one that people would notice, because they're going to notice the beautiful pentacles here, displaying your work. You're proud of your work. You're focused. You're looking at the details. So with this card of hard work, here's the Four of Swords. And the message of the Four of Swords or the awareness for the week is to take a step back and to get some rest. You can see the soldier or the man here, his hands are in a meditative pose. He's got his sword below. He's got the three swords here. And there's a real indication of rest of a timeout, of taking a break. And all of the words recover, restore, rejuvenate, um, reconnect with yourself. It doesn't mean that if you take a timeout for solitude in order to restore your energies or your thinking, it doesn't mean that the situation goes away. But it, you may have a fresher perspective when you return. And that's important, is that work, 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 work can lead to stress and exhaustion. Balance your time and incorporate rest uh, when you can. And if that means taking a day off, a mental health day, or, you know, just do what you need to do in order to preserve yourself. Okay, so interestingly enough, these are two, two interesting cards next to each other in terms of guidance. We'll begin with the sun, Major Arcana. The sun is a tremendously positive card. It's a card of joy, of delight, of feeling the spirit and the energy of the sun, the confidence, the inspiration, the carefree wonder, just like this child riding the horse saying, we, you know, enjoying life. The sun is our life force. It brings us radiance. It's brilliant. It provides abundance with these sunflowers here. And the inspiration comes in the form of this sash. So you can look forward to success and happy relationships and um, a feeling recognized and feeling good for your efforts and within your life. So this is a very strong and powerful card. Next to the sun, we have the, the Eight of Swords. And so with swords, we may think of challenges. We may think of obstacles. And 
with this Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The woman is blindfolded. She's lightly you know, tied up here with the ties, with the puddles in front of her. And this may be a case where you feel restricted. You feel unable to move forward. Despite all of this happiness, you may feel that you're unable to do something, perhaps. That you either have self-doubt or you're in a situation where you're not being uh, permitted or allowed to, to move forward. I think that this card goes to needing support and maybe someone helping. I get a, always get a sense of the damsel in distress on the, on the railroad tracks with this illustration, except she's standing. But the thing to think about is that the, this tie looks very loosely bound, that if she put forth the, the effort or made the decision, she might be able to wiggle out of there. She may be able to step away from those, from those puddles and to move back to a place of feeling less negative, perhaps, or less uh, doubtful and stripping off the blindfold. So while you feel confident and alive and happy and restored, there is this nagging sense, maybe, of feeling restricted. Let's see what we have for possible outcomes. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the magician, Major Arcana. The magician is the master of alchemy, just as you are the master of alchemy within your life. And that is to be able to blend and integrate all the elements, all of the talents and the skills and the abilities that you have, the strengths that you have, understanding your weaknesses. And here on the table, everything there, the cup, the sword, the wand, the pentacle. And it's being divinely inspired by the universe. But it's really up to you to have the faith in yourself. And so while you may feel restricted, you need to focus on all the good things that you have going for you. And that is follow your passions, just like this red robe. Follow the passions within your life and have faith that you're going to be able to, to do what you need to do. It's about manifesting. It's about whatever life you're trying to create. You've been working hard. You're proud of what you do. You clearly have talents. You have success here with, with the sun. You're getting rest and you have the magician. With the Magician, we have the Queen of Pentacles, loving, kind, considerate, and nurturing. Whether this court card represents someone within your life who can be loving to you and can be mindful of how you're feeling and maybe supportive. This could be attributes that you would benefit from. And this Queen of Pentacles is resourceful. She will find a way to be successful. She will find a way to multitask. She will find a way to, to make comfort and abundance within her home and make it beautiful. So how does she do it? She does it through her common sense and her grounded practical ways. It may take some common sense and just some time in order to deal with this sense of restriction here from the Eight of Swords. But really, with the Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Sun, it's a lot of positive power there for you to do things your way and to make the magic in your life happen your way. So now let's choose an oracle card as an affirmation for the week. Breaking Trail. A breakthrough is at hand. So however you see a breakthrough, whether it's through the, the hands of the magician or the ultimate results of the sun and the confidence and the inspiration behind that, 
breakthroughs sometimes are not easy. And so maybe some tough decisions, things that you need to do, but you will have that breakthrough. And so now I'm going to choose an Oracle card for healing. Moon Cycles, Archangel H Haniel, Haniel, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. So I think that's great advice. And um, again, the moon cycles have so much power over our energies and the earth. So um, check it out. I, I'm not going to get into the moon cycles, but there are many wonderful um, astrologers on YouTube who provide some great uh, information on them. I'm always cautious about what I say. You know, I, I, I know the cards and I speak to the cards. Um, <laughs> so I'm more conservative just in what I say. Okay, this is a card for love. This is an oracle card for love. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Truly, truly, very true. Opening up the opportunity of being vulnerable, of being loved, of being cared for, experiencing new emotions. Um, and each love in our life is different and unique and special. So open yourself, take a chance, allow that to happen. Maybe some are manifesting the idea of wanting to have a relationship as well. So this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share this video, and comment below. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.